Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we had the Q65 out on the trail, this happened. Oh, that's not good. We got smoke. Wow, see that smoke cut out of there? I think that 130 motor, I pushed it a little too hard today. The 130 motor, I think is rated at six volts. Didn't agree with the 7.4 volts and halfway through the trail, yep, yeah, we went up in smoke. <laughs> Starting to get a bit of a name for myself here, the motor killer. <laughs> but I went back to the drawing board and I found a, a workaround, a little mod in which you can upgrade your Q65 and get a bigger motor installed without trimming the body. So uh, what I'll do now, I'll quickly unscrew the body and I'll show you what I've done. Two screws for back, one dip, flip it over, and then there's two screws situated underneath the hood. So we've got the screws removed, the body should just lift off. I'm going to put it to one side there very carefully. As you can see, we've got a set of WPL electronics in there and also a WPL server, which is handy. And as you can see, we've got a B36 gearbox and a 180 motor. So <clears throat> I'm going to quickly unplug the electronics so they're not in the way. Motor. Do we need to uh, disconnect your lights? Come on, there we go. Uh, motor and servo. Ah, servo's okay, staying in one place. So now we've got that free chassis so I can show you guys what's going on. So <clears throat> I was thinking to myself. How can I get this 180 or a bigger motor? I think you could even get a 260 motor to fit as well using this, uh, this setup. How to get it to fit without trimming the body? And the Q65 come with these like uh, mock mock tanks, or I don't know what they actually what they use for in the, in real life. Maybe little uh, storage cubbies. I don't know. And I was looking at that, and they actually sit low so the the idea was to uh, drop the gearbox lower so if we take a look inside I've used a old servo horn either side to hold the we'll call it the cubbies in place and then what I've done in the cubbies themselves I've made three holes to line up with the gearbox and what that's done it's dropped the gearbox off the chassis and it's been held in place by these two. Um, it's like I said, it's, it's a very simple mod. All, all you pretty much need is an old servo horn so you can actually keep, keep these in place and then that'll allow you to drop the gearbox down and then it won't be interfering with the body. And then obviously you'll be able to run a bigger motor. Simple but effective. Um, some people don't like to drop the motor down as you're, you're increasing the hookup, but as a positive, the drive shaft angles are a nice, healthy angle now. So, yeah, take the good with the bad. I've got a bigger motor in there, and the drive shaft angles are running a lot smoother. So, yeah, just a simple mod there, guys. I don't want to uh, raft on too much about this. What we'll do now, we'll take it out on the trail and see how this performs with a 180 motor. Hopefully we don't see any smoke. <laughs> oh, we're out on the trail. Glorious Welsh winter's day. Cannot complain with the weather here today. Let's see if this 180 motor is actually any better. Still getting a nice uh, 
nice aspect to still control there. So happy with that. So last time we brought this out, the 130 motor didn't have enough punch to get up this hill. Let's see if the 180 motor can get up this first thing fine. It's going to be more a grip issue I think today. With plenty of power. Let's try and, try and pick a less slippy line here. Come on skivvies. Plenty of power there now. Just these uh, these thin scale wheels. Not pouring down enough grip. Let's pick a different line here. And up she goes. Already an improvement. You really feel it's the the difference now with that added power. It's nice to see it. Uh, Keep the wheels turning. It's just uh, it's down to those tyres and the grip now. Caught myself a tree. I think I caught that tree when I brought the, the less chi out. <laughs> nice and slow and controlled over this section here. down to the rocky riverbed. These wheels, even though they look the part scale-wise, they are a hindrance in the traction department. So now for the extremely slippery and steep incline. Well, hey, last time I was here, I fell over like a right fool. Let's see how the Q65 does. The wheel speed. Ooh, so close. Come on, Q65, come on. Hanging on. Go on, go on. Oh, so close. Somebody call the winch guy. We made it up, but we toppled right at the top. Let's pretend we've got a winch attached there. And the Q65 is up with a little help of a winch. <laughs> very impressed so far with the improvement. Yeah, I'm very impressed that uh, that made it up that very steep slip reel then. Good addition to this, I've actually got a an old stock 180 motor in there. It would be the the low RPM motors that we're getting in the new stock WPLs. As you can see, it uh, likes the wheel spin. But nevertheless, it's got the power. bit is trickier than it looks. There's lots of uh, sheep footprints there, which in scale terms would be massive divots there. <laughs> Q65, not a problem. Caught them on a tree I think. Yeah, giant log there getting stuck on the front axle. Work our way around it. So we're at the part of the trail where last time we had this out, it went up in smoke. If we make it further than this point, then my uh, 
my upgrade is a success. It's a nice uh, scale stream here. I'm gonna bring it up, reverse it back down. Again, hooked up there on the rear, but never mind. Do a 93 point turn. And let's work our way up this little scale stream. So well, we've officially made it past the point where it smoked. Oh no! Oh, it's okay, I think we're just uh, hooked up on some leaves. I thought the motor gave in then again. <laughs> that would be very ironic if uh, two motors give in at the same spot there. <laughs> now the very tricky tree line. So this is a test of the flex and ESC brake going down the declines. So we've got to see a bit of tyre pop here. Going down there, not a lot, which is it's really good, showing that suspension's flexing as it should. Bring it down, let's reverse it slightly so we've got a nice straight line going down. And down the other side. 93 point turn. And we'll make our way up to the next section. Bit of a tricky pass there. Straight through and over. Apologies for the car noises in the background. There's a, there's a dual carriageway. About half a mile from this field. but. There's a lot of boy races here in Wales. <laughs> so this bit here is a test of the steering angle. I have my doubts it's going to make it round in one. Very close. I think a nice low RPM motor is going to be my next upgrade for this. And up she goes. As always, let's finish with a nice little tree line we got here. This does catch out some rigs. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a step up, so it's a good test to show the grip of the wheels. There we go, I think we're through. Let's bring it back slightly. Point myself in the right direction. Through, not gracefully, but we're through. And let's bring her back through to finish. Our motor it's just got a little bit of a punch in it. A, a low RPM motor would really, really benefit this little truck. Whee, see? It catches and then just spools off. <laughs> and down. And there we have it, guys. The, uh, the little gearbox drop mod to fit the bigger motor in. Paid off. We actually got round in one piece today. This thing looks awesome covered in mud. Fair play, it does look the, the part on the trail. So, uh, yeah, guys, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. New content coming every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'll be dropping links for this little truck in the description below, as well as the WPL 180 and gearbox if you want to get your hands on that as well to obviously upgrade this truck and make it a bit more capable at the box. Cheers for watching guys, I'll catch you on the next one.